Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Today we are going to see a new add-on called Blender Pixelated Image. Uh, this add-on is for Blender 2.8 version. Um, this is the link and I will give it in the description. So what you need to do is basically you need to download the zip file and uh, save it. In the zip, uh, what you need to do is basically extract it. Yeah. And then let's uh, go to 2.8 go to edit preference and go to the add-on install and uh, here is the zip just enable it here okay so set the preference all right you will get the add-on in uh, render tab render property here in the pixel art image it will not work with ev because ev doesn't have any uh baker it will work only with cycle okay so let's get it started all right in a traditional way uh, what blender does is basically a very painful thing um what you need to do is basically you need to select it and go to shift a go to uh, search for the image texture and you need to uh, make a new texture you know lots of stuff then you need to select it then you need to bake it so our studio has uh, started working with it and uh, it was pretty much messy and very much error prone so that's why we have created this add-on so what this add-on does is basically if you go to the cycle material here uh, in the back you will get the back traditional back and you will get the back selected image so what you can do here is basically you can uh, create your uh, texture from here so what you need to do is basically create a new okay then go to the image of movie and uh, here you will see if i can zoom it a little bit here yeah here you can see there is a new button so i'm going to create a new button if i'm going for creating an albedo uh test something like that okay i can create um uh, into 2k and uh, if you want to use a 32-bit you can use that uh, just press ok and here is here we go okay here is your albedo test uh, you have uh, I have loaded it here albedo test uh, what you can do is basically you can <coughs> choose your color space here as well so uh, albedo is sRGB so I'm just going for sRGB and uh, now what we can do is basically just go uh, just select this two and I'm going for albedo okay this one and uh, this one is also the albedo uh, by the way i have created a brand new tutorial about uh, pbr texturing uh, workflow pbr texturing how to create uh, pbr texture how to export pbr texture so if you don't know about it uh, just go to that tutorial i will give it in the description as well so here is our albedo so what we can do is basically now we can select both of them okay and uh, then go here this is called input selected image so what it will do it will basically create your uh, texture here you know you don't need to uh, you know log in log out and things like that it will automatically create your thing and it will assign the albedo test now what you can do is basically go to the back emit okay emit here yeah, because we are uh, using the emission and then just go to back okay it will bake the stuff for you and here we go this one is this this one is this so that's it so now we can save the image as well go to image save as and uh, just I'm going to save it here okay so now uh, that's how we can work with it suppose we need roughness so what can what can we do here is basically we can go here and uh, let's go to the roughness this one and uh, let's go to the roughness this one okay so suppose i just need uh, this and uh, um, don't need this this one so yeah we can do that so let's create a new uh, texture i'm going to name it roughness okay uh, it will be 2k and uh, okay and uh, for roughness we need um, non-color data so i'm just going for non-color data now let's input the selected image and then just back it yeah. okay so this is it uh, if you want to use both you can do it like that select uh, both of them input the image and then back
there we go so both of them here i'm going to save it here run this all right so let's talk about uh, suppose we need um we need something else something like um we need suppose from back we need um normal okay let's place it here so i'm just going to create a new normal map here by the way you can choose it from here as well it will be listed here so if you need roughness again you can select it from here if you need albedo uh, from here you can do it like that as well so not a problem so let's create a new uh new one called normal it will be uh srgb uh srgb here and then we can uh, input selected image and then back it here there we go all right so this back button and this back button are same the primary button is input selected image yeah okay so that's how you can work with it suppose uh now what i, I want to do uh basically um suppose let's see let's duplicate this guy shift d <coughs> Yeah, and uh, let's save this image as well. Yeah, and uh, let's join them together. Control J, join. So, uh, as we have seen earlier, that uh, there are now two material. Okay, so what we can do is basically we can create. Um, let's uh, go for let's go for metallic. Yeah. Uh, or just let's go for base color again okay uh, silver this one is base color okay so let's hide them yeah so yeah you can see they're joined joined together and we have wood and silver so I'm going for wood and I'm using our best color here and i'm using silver best color here okay so traditionally it should be an emit so let's go for emit yeah and now let's go to the big selected image so what we can do is basically uh let's go wood and uh, let's create another uh let's create another one just for the demonstration albedo suppose it's joint albedo joint okay so it should be uh srgb 2048 2048 blank 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 okay so now if we go to the wood we can select it input selected image then go to silver input selected image so now both has a uh, active node here so what you can do is basically go for a back okay here we go so i'll be joint image save as i'll be joint so that's how we can work with it uh it's not only emit it will work with everything you have here diffuse glossy blah 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 everything uh the purpose for of these uh big selected images basically we don't need to now we don't need to go to input and uh input not texture and uh image texture now you need to sort out which one i need and then select it then bake it so it has been uh you know easy uh, right now so uh, our studio needed it uh, for you know uh, doing things fast and faster so here it is yeah two more thing uh, the number one is uh, basically you can see that there are all the textures so what you can do is basically you can just select them delete it okay uh, select all of them delete it here Good. if you don't want these textures to be here you select it and delete it here yeah. and also there is another uh, another thing another concern that uh, what you need to do is basically um if you suppose it was there uh, if you just disable it it will be like that so what you need to do is basically you need to go to the texture zero dot texture it will not work with some something like a new texture suppose this one texture zero zero two it will not work it will only work with texture okay zero texture now if uh, suppose i want to change the normal here okay i'm going to select it here texture normal 
and then input selected image here and this one input selected image here okay so i want to bake um, the base color here in the normal map so suppose if i going to if i'm going to bake it here you can see you can see that the normal has been baked with albedo all right you got my point so because uh, we are using bake so if i go to the no normal again and uh, just going to bake it here it will bake the normal here okay so uh, the important part is what is the important part if you're uh, creating a texture file here you need to go here texture okay it will not work with texture 001 texture 002 etc it will only work with texture i have to do it like that because uh, we need a dedicated slot for this texture and it will be not used by any other application so this one is our texture okay and there you can go for your albedo and blah 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 and uh, go to the new image and etc etc all right so thanks i'm father sympathy from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye